-hmm. So the primary guests are doing a pretty interesting puzzle that will... What was that? It Didn't it look fun? Yeah. Didn't it look great? It looked fun. That very puzzle will lead us into a little bit about Rob. Now we find out that he's evidently a nerd, mm. played D&D &D and Settlers of Catan, which is like you and everyone else kind of, but... Um, he is the closest we've really ever had to an actual nerd, you know, because we always joke about uh, Marvel fans, you know, proclaiming and professing. I seen them all to be nerds. Oh wow, you're a nerd! Uh, but remember, the people on the Shardcast are nerds, and just for reference, you know, we'll just take a quick listen, just so you guys know what actual full blown nerds are. Hmm. You got a time code for when we? No, should just play it anywhere, literally anywhere. She shouldn't have to joke around about that to make other people more comfortable. And yeah, she, she Lopin should. says, like, you're right, she shouldn't. And Rushu thinks, like, he's saying, like, he's agreeing with her when, like, he's saying something in completely different. There's depth yep. there. And, like, he gets it more yep, than yeah. Rushu thinks yep. she does. That conversation. That, that is a very good scene. Mm -hmm. My favorite Lopen line was when he says, conquering people is the Alethi primary cultural heritage. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was genuinely yeah. hilarious. Yeah, like that, that, was, that, that was, was a real laugh moment. That was, that was so yeah. good. We are putting that yeah. on the Alethkar article on the cover mine. 100%. <laughs> that is too good. Those, Those are nerds. nerds. Wow, you know what? As much as uh, it's just weird to me all around, those I think there was six people on like a Zoom thing, all discussing <laughs> whatever the hell they were discussing. Yeah, it's chaos. Argent and his friends. <laughs> For my daughter, that's I want her to be that. Yeah, that's what I want her to be. Yeah, I'd rather that. There's than a, a girl whore. named Grace. <laughs> you don't think Grace gets dicked down by these four guys when it's not COVID times? I don't, uh, think, I don't think Ian is. And for the barnacles, I want to say there is a middle ground between a, a nerd and a whore. <laughs> Just for clarity's sake. Pretty big one. Uh, Pretty big one. Those are nerds. Uh, but that being said, yeah, Rob's, Rob's a, a, a nerd. nerd. Yeah, Rob's, Rob's a nerd. A nerd. Uh, the, I uh, he's increasing. I think he's one of my favorite characters oh, ever on this. He's hilarious. His comfortability with uncomfortability. Like he just knows this I is how he it. is. He's, I envy it. He's not trying to put on act like he's a cool guy. He's like, I'm not good with this. I'd rather look at rocks. Actual quote. I love this. Twice yeah, he said that too many times. But um, <laughs> they're at the club. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but it's just a it's a little thing about rob but he's just like um he's talking about dancing and he says sometimes it takes a little while for him to expose himself to people and he just goes what am i saying <laughs> and he's like aware of the fact that the producers are just goading him mm -hmm. into saying as much bullshit as they possibly can yep. and he's like what's happening <laughs> And it's a dirty trick they play, but at least he questioned He's what was going it. on. He was, he was more like, how did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> like, that was really the vibe. 